Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities from Mother Nature's recipes. They bring the bare necessities to life. Just so the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worry and your strife. I mean the bare necessities, Mother Nature's recipes. They bring the bare necessities to life. Well, there we go, fun song. It's not the full thing, it's only the first verse of the chorus. But I always enjoyed the movie Jungle Book when I was younger. And uh, that was the original cartoon version. I haven't seen the animated one, but uh, the cartoon version was great. Anyway, that's my little song for today. And we're going to do a simple recipe today. And it's going to be involving cod. So stay tuned. But first, we've got a mail call. Today in the mail, when I checked my mail, I had a letter, or a Christmas card actually, from Florentine Tisha. And if you don't know Florentine, you really need to check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description below. Florentine is an absolutely amazing musician. Uh, plays guitar, plays, well, I think if it's a musical instrument, he can play it. I'm not positive on that, but that's been my experience. And he plays it very well. So please check out Florentine's channel. And here's the card. It says, Peace and Joy. And on the inside, it says, have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. Dear Ian and Glennis, thank you for your friendship. I appreci appreciate you very much. I hope and pray that 2021 brings you many blessings and much health. Merry Christmas and happy new year. Signed, Florentin and family. And there's a musical score at the bottom, which I'll have to see if I can figure out what it is. But thank you, Florentin, beautiful card. We I know it came still, well, it's still Ukrainian Christmas at the moment, but uh, thank you so much. I do appreciate that. All right, let's get to today's recipe. It's a slow cooker recipe. It's going to take about four hours in the slow cooker. And it's, uh, as I say, a fairly easy recipe. The first thing you're going to want to do is just spray a coating on the inside of your crock pot. Uh, Pam is all right. If you have Pam, I'm using a Misto... Uh, oil sprayer with canola oil in it. Does the job very nicely. If you want to get one, I'm not sponsored by them, but uh, it's Misto, M-I-S-T-O. I got mine on Amazon.ca, but I'm sure Amazon.com or Amazon.uk or whatever Amazon you use uh, would carry it. All right, so once you've coated the inside of your crock pot, you're gonna add a quarter cup of water One can of chicken, this is, uh, well, I call it chicken stock, but I think they call it broth, chicken broth. I'm using Campbell's, but you can use whatever brand you want. Oops, get a little sploosh there. And that is a uh, 284 milliliter can. It's just a standard size chicken broth can, whatever size, they, I don't know what that would be in ounces, but just a standard soup can size of chicken broth. To that, you're going to add a half cup of rice. Now, I'm again cooking for just Glennis and myself. If you're cooking for more people, double the recipe. So you'd want a half cup of water, two cans of soup, and a cup of rice. Just remember your rice is going to expand as it cooks. So. And you just make sure the rice is all covered. We're going to put in, we're going to put in one teaspoon of garlic powder. quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, half a teaspoon of salt, now salt to taste, but we're, I'm using a half teaspoon, and a half teaspoon of black pepper, and again do that to taste. And just want to blend that all in there nicely, make sure it doesn't stick around on your sides. But you want that flavor throughout. Then all you're going to do is you're going to take your cod fillets and lay them in there. Now 
So I'm going to have to break this one in half. So these are frozen cod fillets, by the way. I'm just going to lay them on the top, and I'm going to sprinkle a little paprika over top of that. And it's just that easy. Put the lid on it. Put it into the cooker. I guess I better plug it in. It might work better. And we're going to put that on low for four hours. So I'll set my timer here for four hours. Alrighty. We'll come back when it's done and have a look at how it turned out. Well, we've finished our meal. It's uh, ready to eat. So four hours on the slow cooker and there we go. I'll bring it up close so you can have a look. So we've got some nice peas to go with it. We'll have a salad beforehand. But you've got your cod steak, some nice flavorful rice and some good garden peas. And there you go. It's just that easy. Dump everything in the crock pot, give it a stir, set it for four hours and forget about it. Until next time, when we get together and it'll probably be a story time, take care, stay safe, and God bless. <laughs>